It feels so <laughs> awkward doing this. This is so weird. I'm usually alone in my room. <laughs> Why is this so weird? We're not gonna be able to get through this. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave, and today I'm here with my gorgeous niece, Bianca. <laughs> anyway, I have company, which is exciting because I feel like I haven't seen people in a year. So she's gonna paint with me. And have you painted before in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you're not a newbie to watercolor. I did give you a watercolor palette previously and I've taught you a couple of things over the years, but I mean, it's not something you do every day. Correct. Okay. <laughs> She's a woman of very many words. <laughs> so we're just gonna, we're gonna paint some butterflies because they're beautiful. And so are you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all going in the video, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Okay, so we are painting watercolor butterflies. Um, we're painting on arches, watercolor paper. Um, we have Princeton snap brushes in a size 12 and a size six round, pencils and an eraser and water and paper towel. And we're using my Princeton, nope, my Windsor Newton professional watercolors. We'll just share that. Okay, so we're gonna do some butterflies. You can either do this with drawing it out first or you don't have to but I feel like we should draw it out first because we should do that okay so I'm just gonna do like a tiny little head thingy like that and try yeah try not to do it too dark because we will or try to erase it after and we're just gonna try and make this as symmetrical as we can I'm gonna do like little shoulders almost just for the butterfly to know where we're gonna put our wings and then we're gonna go up we're gonna try to do the same angle on the other side. I think the hardest part is trying to make it as symmetrical as possible. So if you wanna trace the butterfly picture, you definitely could. But I always start with the, see I don't even know if that's symmetrical. Sometimes I have to step back and look. Like that. There's a hair on my sleeve. There's a hair on your sleeve? Yeah. Alright, and then you're going to do kind of like a bump at the top of the, yeah, at the top of the wingy, wingy thingy. I'm actually just going to draw the body just so oh, I can get she's it. not centered. That's okay. You can erase if you like. That's my <laughs> stress ball slash kneaded eraser. And then you're going to do a rounded top up here and then just kind of do like a little squiggly squiggly. <laughs> These are my like really technical um, artist terms. Squiggly squigglies with a round. A round and then into a squiggly squiggly. Mm. At around like halfway where the body is. This guy's got to come down. And if you need to erase like 10 million times, you can do that. Because that's what I usually do. And I just edit it out so nobody knows. And they think... It's perfect first time. Exactly. They just think I'm all wonderful. Sometimes also, if you want to ever get a ruler and like measure out to the same distance of where you, the wings kind of right. can go, that can also help make it symmetrical. But I usually just eyeball it and if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And you do your squigglies to like about halfway where the body is. So sometimes it's easier to... So when, usually when I'm sketching something, I just look at proportions. So I'll look at the body size, look where that big first wing is going to end. That's how I kind of plan it out. And I don't know if they're going to be able to hear the random screams from Noah outside washing the car. <laughs> but that happens. Usually there's construction. Do you generally do voiceovers or just keep the audio? I keep the audio. Yes. <laughs> Unless there's construction and it's really, really bad, which happens sometimes. Okay, so then from the middle here... See how there's like, there's going to be kind of like a V in r this little area right here. Yeah. So it's going to come down. So try and do the same V shape on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'm going to come, you see a little bit of the, the behind of the butterfly. So leave a little bit coming out there and then you can really just kind of make it whatever shape you want. It doesn't have to be exact to anything real, but I'm just gonna do like 
Squiggly squigglies. Down. There we go. How does it? It's sometimes symmetrical. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then once you're done, you're gonna roll the eraser over top of your drawing to make those lines lighter. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So now you're gonna take your size 12 brush and we are going to cover the butterfly in water. You don't have to worry about the body, actually don't do the body, just the wings. And we wanna try and cover it quite fast so it doesn't dry before it's finished, before, wait. So it doesn't dry before we're finished putting water over the whole thing. Unless actually, you know, we could always do half at a time if you want. That would be easier. Yeah, okay. So just do like the top and the bottom. And then you're gonna pick some colors and we're just gonna have some fun with wet on wet because it's fun. So what color are you gonna do your butterfly? I don't know, I'm really liking the green and the blue. Green and the blue? But That's I don't cute. know how to, I've never mixed like, I've never, what, done watercolor like blending into multiple colors i've only mm -hmm. done like dark to light or oh my gosh yeah. so. okay so with wet on wet when you're putting the water down the one thing you want to check is if you're if you're to tilt your paper over to the side you see how there's a pool yeah. there you don't want to pool because then the water actually won't expand so you can always take your paper, paper towel or you could always just like spread it around with your brush like that. And you just want a nice sheen, like see that shine, mm -hmm. that even shine everywhere. Okay, so now pick your color, your first color. So if you want to do green or blue first, the greens are here, that's a light green. There's blues here. I'm gonna do pink because I like pink. <laughs> I'm gonna do pink. <laughs> Cause I'm a creep. There we go. And yeah. you're just going, yep. Yeah. And you're just gonna tap it wherever and just like let it like bleed. I'm gonna just start at the top. Don't be afraid, put it on there, get it on there. See, yeah. You can even add a bit more water to your brush. Yep, dip it in like that. Try tapping it a bit. Don't worry about the brush. <laughs> Tap that brush, tap it, tap it. <laughs> Maybe wash a bit of the paint off your brush. It might be a bit too intense. and try and move it down just a little bit like this, just bringing it down. Yep. And now wash off your brush completely like this. Run it against the side, dab it on your paper towel, and then you're just gonna move, yep. You're gonna move that color down. So there's gonna be a bit of color on your brush. Try and go like side to side. Yeah. Good. Okay. Then you're going to pick your second color. Okay. So I'm going to pick yellow. What color are you going to pick? Blue, right? Pick blue. A good one might be that one, the turquoise. And what you're going to do this time is you're going to start from the bottom and you're going to tap around the bottom. Yep, just, just like that. Pretty. See that bleed? Now wash off your brush completely. Runs against the side, dry it a bit, and you can start to kind of bring it up slowly to meet in the middle and create a kind of new color. And if it seems like there's a lot of pigment, wash your brush off again, dry it, like really wash it off. Yep, dry it, and then again slowly move from here, from the middle up. Okay. Yeah. See that? Yeah. That looks cool. That looks awesome. 
And you could even, if you wanted to, which might look cool if you took a little bit of blue and you could do like a couple like small dots at the top and just have like a little like bit of yeah. explosion if you wanted to or if you just want to keep it like a the same gradient. Mm. Totally up to you. Mm. I might take some like darker pink and go like this. Wait. Oh. And just kind of let it bleed a bit. If you want to, you don't have to. If it's too much on your brush, you can always just dab it on your paper towel like that too. Just take off some of that pigment. Yeah. And if you don't like that, you could always just kind of mix it into the color a little bit to get a bit of that darker shade at the top. So it'll be kind of, and if, you, if you're worried that there's too much paint on your brush, always dab it on your paper towel just to make sure because you can always, you know, remove the color. It's okay. Can I like? Here, can I show you something? Yeah. You can just blend it. That's cool. And if that's too much, I'm gonna wash off my brush. Just start to blend it. If you want it a bit more green, so see how it's like darker mm -hmm. up here? Yeah. Bring it around the side maybe a bit. And if it's ever too dark, you can always take your paper towel, fully push down, take it up, and then do it all again okay. before it dries. But that looks pretty cool. I like this. I feel like I need a bit more pink. I'm gonna go around this way for mine a bit. Maybe a bit down here too. It's all about practice. I'm just gonna do some lines like that. That's pretty. You can do that if you want while it's still wet. But I think the tip for beginners, the thing you want to think of the most is like, if you're worried that there's too much paint on your brush, always just dab it on your paper towel just to make sure. Cause it's easier. It's harder to remove a lot of paint, I think. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's easier to add than mm -hmm. to remove. Okay, so let's wash our brush off again. And you're gonna wet the other side. And we're gonna try to make it symmetrical but if it's not, that's okay too. So remember not too much water where it pools everywhere, but just that it's a nice like light shine if you were to tilt it. Okay. And always tilt it just in case if there's a lot of water and you don't see that it's pooling. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Yep, now go into your green. Drop it in, girl. Yeah, those little explosions are what you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to like around the middle there and then you can grab your turquoise color start from the bottom and move it up I like your colors those are pretty thank you I like yours too and then go from right from the middle here and start to bring it up there you go And 
then grab some of that turquoise just a bit and then we're going to do the same thing here so you can start with the dots like you did so remember if you want to dab, dab it on your paper towel first just to make, take off some of that color and then you can dab it on there yep yep you, you can add a little bit of water yep there you go there and then wash off your brush completely and dry it that's the most important because if you have too much water and you put it on here it's going to push all the pigment away oh. so you dry it and then you're just going to move it over Blending. Okay, so yep, keep move it, keep moving it down here, and then I'll show you how to blend out that line. Okay, wash off your brush, dry it completely, and then go right over where that line is to blend it out a bit. Sometimes it helps if you take your brush. Yep. See how there might have been a bit too much water? You can always just put a little bit. You just kind of blend it down, just bring it down a bit. You can always grab a little bit more, even green if you wanted to. Just fill that in. A little bit more turquoise. And we'll blend it out. Try and put your brush on an angle like this so it gets like half of the belly of the brush. And it just helps blend it out a bit more. Yeah, the one thing that is really difficult when you're going back to blend, you never want a lot of water on your brush because then it will push all that pigment away. Right. So if you want it, I feel like that's a dark, a little bit darker. Grab a tiny bit more, yeah, more water on your brush. A bit more turquoise. Dab it on your paper towel first, just to check. Yep, and then you can come up to the top. There you go. Yeah, try to, exactly. Try and do a bit more of a tapping motion rather than a dragging right. motion because that picks up the pigment. There you go. And it doesn't have to be the same. And that's also going to look a little bit different just because it's already drying. Right. It looks awesome. There. See, look at that gradient. Mm -hmm. That looks awesome. Okay, so we're going to let it dry and then we can do a bit more detail on oh. it. Our black is right here. So you're just going to take a bunch of black pigments. And I'm just going to start off with the body, just filling in that body black. Now for the black parts on the wings, it's, it's easier to get a reference photo, which we have in front of us, which I can link below. Um, unless you're really creative, <laughs> but I'm like, I, 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 I always have trouble. I'm doing the little antennas too, making them a little squiggly. Oh, that's cute. Um, but yeah, I always have trouble coming up with a pattern. It never looks correct. So I'm just going to start by outlining the top wing, the top of the wing here with black. <gasps> cute. Cute. <laughs> cute. Noah says, oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, so cute. I'm just going to start off like that. You need to add more water, more pigment, go for it. Whatever feels correct to you. And then I'm just gonna bring that line down to define the squigglies, make it really thin as we come down. And the top of the wing is a little bit thicker with the black, so I'm just going to thicken it up the other side a bit, and then at the top, fill it in. I always have trouble making this symmetrical. And the good part with this is that because we're doing wet on dry, you can take your time. It doesn't have to be done quickly, kind of like how we did do the gradients. 
tiniest lines yeah you're doing a good job just use like tiny bit of pressure in the tip of the brush so I'd start from here bring it up and then more pressure to get a thicker line start pushing down yep there you go I'm going to start doing the same thing at the bottom here because it's pretty thick over here on our picture. But just don't be shy to go for it. side too. Try and do one continuous brush stroke rather than like a sketching motion. You'll get straighter lines that way too. <laughs> but they're different. So I would thicken this one up a bit. See At the this sides? one right here. Bring it in a bit more. And then start it lower. Cool. But if it, they're not exactly the same, that's fine. Like this one is a little bit pointier on mine than this one, and that's okay. No. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I should have left it. I should have left it. It's okay. Okay. It's all good. Or if you want. Ooh. Okay. And then just redo what you need to do. Okay. So now you're going to take your brush, really, really light pressure. And we're gonna do those little line thingies in the middle. If you wanna fix whatever you want to. You well, can. I can probably do the yeah. lines. You probably won't even see it. So this is what I'm scared of. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with that big kind of one that comes like right up here. And if you look at it, they're not straight lines. So it's okay if they're okay. a little bit off, right? But you just wanna try and get it as symmetrical as you can. So I'm gonna come up here really thin. And then it kind of comes back in here. I'm gonna try and do it on this other side too. Again, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Yeah, that's that's different. That's okay. Well, generally, real butterflies aren't actually the same pattern. Well, then there you go. We're winning at this. Yay. <laughs> this isn't the first time we've done butterflies. When oh. we did butterflies with acrylic. Oh, yeah. That was fun. You were so little, though. Yeah. They're still hanging in my house. I love it. I love it. And then it looks like you just connect from here to like out here. And I'm just going to do some fun patterns because it doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like that's what it looks like. I don't know though. I'm just going to try and... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Something like that. I feel like. Hmm. It's the symmetrical thing that's getting me. But I mean, again, don't put pressure on yourself for it to look perfect. Kind of did a little scoopy here, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Fine. Seems a bit more straight. Those are different. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That still looks really, that looks awesome. Thanks. Really much I can say about this part, but just trying to eyeball where you think the lines are going. I'm just trying to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> yeah, see, that's not the same, but that's okay. It's fine. It's similar. We're going for similar. That's I like my eyebrows. They're not twins, they're <laughs> sisters, maybe cousins on some days when I'm really having a day trying to get them the same shape. That looks so cool. Okay, so then you wash off your brush completely. Okay, you can just put dots wherever you want. If you need to add a little bit of water to your brush, you can do that too. I love it. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. And so there's our butterflies. Wee. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. And you <laughs> stop doing that with your mouth. You're like trying not to laugh. <laughs> I have a headache from laughing. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. <laughs> you haven't even had any sugar today. No, I've had two coffees though. Oh, I've had like three. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something and that you enjoyed our wonderful guest who can't stop laughing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye. You can say bye too. Bye. <laughs>